the traditional American family is definitely a lot of kids. You have your picture perfect mom, dad, a boy, and a girl. It'd be like every sitcom, like the Brady Bunch, Full House. Everybody looking alike. I was born in Ekaterinburg, Russia. In the hospital, my biological mom, she pretty much left and I stayed in the hospital and then they just redirected me to like the orphanage. I've always known I've been adopted. My parents were always very open. They never wanted to keep any secrets. They just wanted me to know who I was. So from the very beginning, ever since I could remember, I known that I was adopted, but it wasn't a bad thing. To me, that was just normal. My parents hired investigators to go out and try to find information. We were able to locate two half-sisters. It's exciting to me to be able to get to that next level because before there was nothing. For my adoption, I'm pretty neutral about it. I definitely recognize it and I don't push it away, but I don't celebrate it. I guess my family didn't see a need for it, but we are always like open about the whole adoption thing. It's definitely still a part of me. I don't think I've ever felt dissatisfied with my adoption. I could have asked questions about why didn't my mom keep me. Those were usually just wonder. I've never felt dissatisfied. I'm grateful every single day of where I live and the family I have and the relationships I've built. And I'd never really see my adoption as something negative. I try to see it in a positive way because I don't know where I might have turned out. I don't remember any kids in my schools being of the same ethnic or cultural background as me. It didn't affect me. It almost was special. It was kind of what made me me. I have not been back to Russia, but I've always, always, always wanted to. My parents really wanted to make sure that I was mature enough to be able to go and actually take something out of it. It's the whole unknown past thing. It doesn't bother me that much, but I definitely am very eager and interested to open that part of my life up because it's where I was from, and if I was not adopted, it would be where I am. Any place in the world I'd like to travel, but this part here is just, it's more personal. I haven't given much thought to really how I identify. I say Russian American, it would be easier for people because if they ask, they can see me and they say, oh, how you act, you're American, but your ethnicity is not. And then that's where the Russian part comes in. Knowing that I'm part of two cultures, I see it as a positive. It's like two worlds and it, it's almost just even more exciting. I wouldn't say that I'm super connected with my culture, but I am proud of who I am and I would be proud to say who I am. I wouldn't say that I feel bad or self-conscious about not knowing a lot about my culture. I'm from a small province, I think is what you call it, um, in China. I was left at a military building. Other than that, I don't know much about my adoption. I think I always knew my parents slowly introduced the idea of adoption, and I never remembered having an actual like sit-down conversation. The first question that people want to ask when they find out I'm adopted is, oh, do you know your real parents? My first answer is, well, I already have my real parents, you know? In regards to my biological parents, I don't think I've ever felt like I'm missing part of me or have this urge to find out who I really am and all this stuff just because I feel like the definition of parenting is who my parents are now and not my biological parents and so I don't think I've ever really thought about finding them. Stay back. Yay! Growing up, I really didn't want to think of myself as being different or from another place and so I think I tried to fit in with people who weren't Chinese. I was one of like very few Asians, so I felt kind of like unique. When I went to high school, I think is when I purposely made an effort to try and not look Asian. Media definitely 
impacts how I saw myself and I think because I saw so many people who didn't look like me in movies and stuff, finding my cultural identity as Chinese American was difficult. I often didn't associate myself with that identity and identify more as American, but obviously since I look Chinese, I feel obligated to kind of add that in. I don't know enough about my culture. American culture is kind of just naturally brought upon me because I live in America and my parents are American. I think I do feel connected to my native heritage and culture. I'm slowly more open and accepting of who I am and what I look like and where I'm from. My parents' effort to include me in Chinese culture and take me to events and expose me to things like that definitely helped me accept and appreciate and find an interest in where I'm from. Because I was adopted, I think I lack part of my cultural identity, but I'm okay with that. definition of family is changing. It doesn't matter if you're related. There really is not a ton of consistency other than a parent and a child. I just don't really view things like culture, like appearance. How many parents you have, what gender your parents are, how you look compared to them. As anything that should affect what feels like family to you. And everything else beyond that shouldn't matter. My name is Zaylin Sikidis. I'm 16 years old and I'm a very social person and I cannot live without talking to people. My name is Marisa Morris, but I like to go by Mari. I am 20 years old and I really enjoy art and drawing. <laughs>